indoor test with the antenna modification. I'm going to be using the test button here on the transmitter. Flashes are four and a half feet apart, and I'm about oh, 10 to 12 feet back from the flashes. Test one, test two, test three, test four, test five, test six, test seven, test eight, test nine, test 10. I believe it was two that failed, maybe just one. Um, have to look back on the video. But as you can see, even with the antenna modification indoors, uh, at the same uh, frequency setting on, on the dip switches here, um, we had either a 10 or a 20% failure. Uh, that's slightly increased. I'll do further test off camera. Okay, this is the outdoor test with the antenna modification starting at 40 feet. Shot number one. Flash fired. Go on down to 60 feet. Shot number two. Flash fired. Go on down to 80 feet. 80 feet. Fire. Flash fired at 80 feet. Going down to 100 feet. Okay, 100 feet. Take a shot. Flash fired at 100 feet. Go approximately 20 more feet to 120. Just approximate it. Okay, this is approximately 120 feet. Okay, it shot off that time at 120 feet. I'm gonna do a third shot. Third shot at 120 feet, fired. Fourth shot. Fourth shot at 120 feet, fired. Okay, um, walk back uh, 20 more feet. Okay, this is 140 feet. Okay, these are my conclusions on the Cactus V2S antenna modification, 433 megahertz antenna modification. Uh, thanks goes out to Jeremy Custer at jeremycuster.blogspot.com. Uh, he's where I got this idea. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, the antenna was $6.50 and uh, the bulkhead connector was $3.50 from DigiKey. It's about $10.50 shipped to my door. A uh, very affordable modification if you have the materials to implement the modification. Uh, testing indoors uh, with the modification, uh, I increased on average from uh, about 30% failure rate to about 10% failure rate. I went upstairs and I got less, uh, less failure than I did on the video test, which was uh, 10 or 20%. Uh, maybe I have some radio interference inside here. So again, indoors with the antenna, 10% without 30%. Outdoors, we went from 60 feet at about a 20% failure rate to 120 feet with a 20% failure rate. Anything inside of those distances, um, it was very reliable outside. Um, usually there wasn't um, any misfires outside to my knowledge. I did testing with uh, uh, dual flashes outside at a maximum range of about 15 feet and uh, outside with the antenna I got about a 10 percent failure rate or less actually I was getting higher failure rates inside the house for some reason final conclusion uh, if you're a professional and you're looking for a way to wirelessly trigger your flashes via radio signal I don't recommend these uh, go with your more reliable pocket wizards if you're an amateur you want an affordable way to trigger your flashes in manual mode only this does not support ettl it's just a flash trigger i highly recommend the cactus v2s system from gadget infinity thank you